Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I've got a guide for you on how to use Pathfinder's grapple hook properly so that you can cover insane distances. And the first tip I have you is that you can grapple onto enemies and go in for a melee or an LMG shotgun spam. It is not a great tactic because you can't shoot while you're pulling in and they'll notice you, but it's a very fun tactic if you want to get a clip or just BM somebody into the ground. Some of the gameplay today will be PC and some of it will be PlayStation 4, so I'll have specific tips for each one of those guys. But in short, Pathfinder is an extreme extremely strong character even though he's thought of as being kind of newbie at the moment. You can swing onto, near, or past enemies to greatly confuse them like I just did right here. This guy has no idea what just happened and he got LMG'd into the ground. It is very, very effective when you use this grappling hook or offensively, defensively to reposition, or just to get ahead of the zone. It's just extraordinarily strong. Speaking of defensive grapple hooks, this is another good example. I decided to push this team in slums even though my team was a little bit behind me, and I'm gonna have to end up using the grapple hook defensively in order to save my life. I found them all in one building, and while I got great damage in, I was gonna lose that fight if I stayed. So I had to swing out, I actually got too much momentum off that swing, did too good, had to climb back up to where I was, use what little bit of footsteps I I could hear over the explosions to see that they came out to chase me. Big mistake on their part. You really shouldn't chase Pathfinder. He'll just reposition somewhere on the high ground and murder you. So let's get into the actual tutorial so I can show you guys how to do some of this. Before we do, shout out to Frothy Omen. I watched his Pathfinder guide as the inspiration for this video and it helped me get better at the character in general. And the reason I play Pathfinder instead of Wraith or Bangalore or Mirage or any of the more popular DPS characters is that I hate being slow. Being slow, especially in Battle Royale games, is guaranteed death, and Pathfinder is the fastest character in the game, and hold up, keyboard warriors, I know you're about to type, but Drifter, didn't you know? All the characters have the same movement speed. Yes, they do, but they don't all have the same uh, mobility abilities. You know, several of the characters have abilities that allow them to move faster, and none of them can even remotely keep up with a good Pathfinder. So tip number one is you want to learn how to swing yourself past an object instead of directly to it. Pathfinder is about momentum. He's about big swings. He's about going fast and not just pulling yourself into a ledge. What you want to do is you want to grapple a ledge and turn ever so slightly so that you fling yourself beyond it so that you don't just pull yourself directly into the ledge and slam your face right into it because that isn't very useful. The grapple hook will pull you in whatever direction you're looking and a a little bit toward the grapple hook itself. So if you were to hook something and then look right really quickly, it would pull you to the right and back to your original point, so you swing in a big arc around everything. The best way to think about this is just to think about how Spider-Man moves. Spider-Man doesn't hook various objects in New York City and pull himself directly to them. He's constantly swinging left and right and maintaining his momentum and swinging around the buildings, and that's exactly what you need to do as Pathfinder. The rule for this is that you can look up to 90 degrees away from the point that you're swinging in and maintain the connection of the grapple hook. So if you grapple something directly in front of you, you can look 90 degrees to your right or 90 degrees to your left and that will give you the maximum angular swing around the object. However, if you turn more than 90 degrees, it's almost always going to break the grapple. Personally, because I feel really dumb when I break grapples on stream, I'm usually aiming for about 70 degrees. I very rarely do a full 90, but if I were to do full 90s, I would be able to swing a little bit further. To do this properly though, you can't just shoot and spin real fast. You need to shoot the grapple hook at your target, wait just a second, and then spin as soon as the tip makes the connection. It's gonna take a little practice to get this going down right, to get the timing just right, and you're definitely gonna do it wrong the first time and overswing and underswing swing, but the idea is as soon as you see that grapple hook connect to the target, or maybe just a few frames before, you want to be looking 90 degrees. But if you shoot and then immediately spin, it's probably going to break the grapple. If you're playing on console, I recommend higher sensitivities. Playing on the lower or default sensitivity makes this more difficult because you can't whip left and right in your vision as fast as you need to to make this happen. On PC, it's very easy to just flick the mouse left or flick the mouse right. Console is going to take a little bit more effort, but the mechanics work the same. You can definitely do this on console, and in my experience, because of those lower sensitivities, very few Pathfinder mains are doing this at the moment, so you will definitely surprise enemies. They, they almost are never expecting a Pathfinder to swing in aggressively. 
Step number two is that you maintain your momentum while swinging, and that begins at the start of your swing. So if you start the grapple hook while you're running, while you have no guns out, or off a zip line, or while you're falling, you gain more momentum and speed than just doing it off the ground. So the faster you do things, the faster you're going, the more effective your grapple hooks are, and the further you can sling yourself. On top of this, if you crouch immediately upon landing, you will most likely slide at incredible speeds and maintain your speed. Sometimes if you fall too far, sometimes if you hit a goofy piece of terrain or clip an object, yes, you're going to do the, the old Call of Duty knees break, stand still kind of thing. But most of the time, if you hit reasonably flat ground, you will be able to knee slide and go incredibly fast. A good way to practice this is the bunny hop method. And this is the standard method for crossing a desert or anywhere where there's not a lot of objects to grapple onto. What you want to do is look straight in front of you, but down ever so slightly, and grapple the ground in front of you. Not directly in front of your feet, but 10 or 15 meters out, roughly the maximum grapple distance, and wait just a second when it hits the ground, or maybe just a few frames before it hits the ground, you want to jump in the air. Now, if you grapple while you're already in the air, it won't work as well, and if you hit jump and grapple at the same time, it won't work as well. You really want to be running, shoot, grapple the ground, and then jump immediately, and keep looking at the ground the, where the grapple point is, or perhaps slightly above it if you want to fling past. And then you, as soon as you're about to hit the ground, because it's going to pull you up and over in a big arc, but right before you hit the ground, you want to hit the crouch button, and it'll just slide you really, really far forward. You'll gain a bunch of momentum, a bunch of speed, and you will cover a lot of distance. This is really useful getting out of the zone. It's useful running away from enemies, useful catching up to teammates, and just overall useful. On console, there is a difficulty with this, and that's that you have to take your hand off of the looking thumbstick in order to hit the, hit the crouch button and move around. So I'm going to tell you that using alternative control schemes or a scuff controller, because you have the paddles on the button, will make this a lot easier. Or if you play, if you play claw, you probably won't have a problem with it whatsoever. Tip number three today is that this momentum game also occurs when you're pulling yourself straight up, so that you can pull yourself up into the air higher than you would ever believe. You can, of course, do some wall climbs in this game and, and go pretty high, and most people know that you can grapple yourself up and pull pretty high, but you can grapple yourself up, do this exact same trick by, say, grappling something really tall, looking roughly 90 degrees left or right, and flinging yourself up into the air and getting maybe another extra story or two of distance above what you've grappled, then you can grab the wall and do some wall climbs. You can get some crazy, crazy elevation out of this grapple hook. This one is a little bit trickier because it's easier to bump your head on something. If you're directly below it instead of below at a small angle, it won't work. If you turn more than 90 degrees, which is harder to judge given the, the way it's going to look to you visually, you'll break your grapple. The vertical grapples will take a lot more time to get good at, and I still personally haven't done that, than the horizontal or the Spider-Man tricks. So that's basically the meat of the guide, and my fourth tip today is that I think you should be prepared to practice this a lot. To be perfectly honest, I still haven't completely mastered this, and I definitely haven't mastered it to where I can always do it under pressure. Pathfinder is the most mechanically difficult character to play properly. Wraith, I totally get, is really complicated, and Mirage and Bangalore have a lot of high skill potentials, but Pathfinder is number one in terms of difficulty, in terms of doing this trick properly. But he is also the most rewarding in terms of overall mobility and potential, except maybe debatably Wraith because the portals and invulnerability are really nice, but no character can cover ground as fast as Pathfinder, nobody can swing fast, slide fast, onto or off of enemies, or immediately reposition. I get more distance between me and enemies with the grapple hook than Wraith does with her Q ability, though I guess I can get shot while I'm grappling. Pathfinder can be super good, and if you play aggressively as Pathfinder, you can really shock some enemies. I do have some general tips for you if you're going to be doing this. Number one is that if you're going to sling yourself onto enemies, please keep in mind that you are 12 seconds out from an escape. Your grapple hook is going to take some time to recharge, so if you fling yourself onto a team of three, you need to be prepared to finish off all three of those people by yourself, so you better flung yourself into a really good position. That means you need to be good at shooting, good at fighting, and just generally good at your your grapple hooks. 
make sure that you finish the job because your team will be a bit behind you. As Pathfinder, you should be really, really far ahead. You should be able to get places faster than the rest of your team, so they're not going to be able to come save you if you get in trouble. And while big Spider-Man plays are insanely fun, and I tried to go for those on stream to the point where it tilted me off the planet, realistically, most of the time, the giant insane swings directly onto enemies won't happen just because of the natural geometry of the map, the way enemies move, the difficulty of the tricks, etc., etc. So most of the time, a more conservative grapple hook trick that repositions you to high ground is going to be better than trying to do some crazy thing where you, like, go behind the enemy and knee slide backwards and kill them in one shot with the peacekeeper you can do that from time to time but if you just want pure performance pure kills pure wins just use it to quickly reposition to either high ground or safety and if you're doing this right if you're playing pathfinder right you're going to be ahead of your team a lot you are going to be leading the charge most of the time you're going to be getting yourself into trouble all the time you're going to be screaming on me on me i'm dead so one thing that will help you out is that if you're about to engage, you can shoot a zip line down to where you're going, or if you find enemies quickly and you're way far ahead, you grapple into position and then very quickly shoot your zip line backwards at your team so that your team can take the zip line and come in and join you in this big party that you're about to start. Guys, that is all for today's guide on Pathfinder. I hope that you learned something useful about this personally, what I believe to be an underloved character. A lot of people say Pathfinder is a noob character. Every time I see Pathfinder, I just assume this person doesn't know what they're doing. Pathfinder is incredibly strong in the right hands. If you make use of this grapple mobility, I think a lot of you will make some very, very big plays. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.